you have to select something else. You have to select the, the IFOB, which uses a scanner, and the stages at the same time. Usually does the, the slow moves with the stages and the fast moves with the galbo. Or you can select just the stages, so then it's not, you're not going to get that error when you compile, because now it has enough field of view. Okay? Uh, where it starts, when you select the shape, go to shape, you see here an angle, so that will tell you the start of the circle. Um, if you said, I think 90 is on, in here, no, zero is here, 90 is here, so you rotate this way. Of course you don't see it, but you put zero, it's going to start marking here. And we can do some markings in a minute. I say it's the same thing with the square. You can put it in position, whatever it is. And you see right now we're, going to, we're here, it's going to mark all the way there. So you know exactly where you are. And then you can set, uh, if you want to go absolute of relative, if it's relative, it will go from wherever you are. If it's absolute, it will go to wherever you put it. Now the marking parameters of the square, we have not set them. So you have to set them for this other shape. We have to change this to default and change whatever one we want to set. You know, the, the, this color, it's just how intense it is. If you put a different color, it's just going to do lighter. Black is, is the darkest or the heaviest mark on the, on the surface. And uh, you can tell it to repeat that shape many times. Here you choose how it triggers the laser, if it's time-based, and the frequency for that triggering. You can set the uh, the jump speed, that's in between a shape and another shape, is going to move at that speed, and you can set your marking speed. It's, uh, that's in millimeters per second, how fast you want to, to, to mark. And that's true for every shape, okay? Here, you have other commands. So you can put pauses, you, you, you have also some structures like uh, eaves and whiles. You can add a dialogue, or you can do a loop, that's a while. And you can add marking parameters. So if you add marking parameters, with these arrows you can move them up and down. So everything that is after, the marking parameters is going to follow the same settings. So it's easier if you have multiple shapes, instead of setting the, the parameters for each shape, you set the parameters on the marking parameters, and then you tell the shape to inherit. So it's going to grab the parameters from the whoever sees before that shape. So then if you do this, you don't need to change every shape. You set your marking parameters here and you, you mark everything. Okay? Gives you the same thing, you can see the locations here. Um, what else can be based? If you have all these shapes here that you can mark. Let's, uh, let's open one of the recipes that I already have. Okay, so we have, where is the mouse here? So you have none, so it's not going to move really. You can move with the Galvo scanners, which is only the Galvos on the top there. They have a range of a couple of millimeters, so they can only do very small things. You can use IFOB, as I said before, it, it, it uses both. For long, on IFOB you can make a shape that is bigger than the field of view of the laser and all the slow moves are going to be done with the stages and all the fast moves are going to be done with the, with the galvo. So, so uh, the speed will be higher using this function? No, it's, it's the, same, the same speed. The only thing you can make 